There's a quick tutorial on how to analyze a pantograph structure. Um, so first of all, you need to load Robot and then pick Frame 2D Design. Come up to the top, and the first thing you're going to start doing is typing in your coordinates. You can do it lots of different ways, but I found this way the easiest. Also, if you already have your coordinates in Excel, you can copy and paste to this table on the right. So for the pantograph, for the system sheet that we've defined for this model, we have the first coordinate at 0, 0. The next coordinate is at 2, 2. The next coordinate will be at 4, 4. Coordinate 4 is at 0, 4. Coordinate 5 is also at 2, 2. And then coordinate 6 is at 4, 0. Now, thing to note is the x coordinates is left to right and the z coordinates are up and down. The other thing we haven't defined, but we can do so here, is that the supports are at coordinate node 1 and at node 6. And for this example, we will make them both pinned. Once we've got our geometry defined, we can now start to knit it together using the bars. So the first element goes from node 1 to node 2, and we could define special sections and so on, but this is just a quick example, so we'll just use a stock universal beam. Um, we will tell it that it is a beam. The next one goes from 2 to 3. Again, it's a beam, and we'll repeat until we have all four elements done. Now the reason that we define two nodes and split them in the middle is because we're going to have to try and connect them together so they act like a scissor structure, like a true pantograph. And to do that, what we need to do is we need to put a pin into the middle of those elements so it will work like a pantograph. So we've now got all of the elements together and that's a beam. So we have now defined all of our structure here. So we have an X structure as a pantograph. The next thing you need to do is to come back up to start. If you come to geometry, you have special types of releases. And what you can see is we already have supports here and here, but what we need to do is to couple these two nodes together so that it's almost like a big pin has been driven between them. So if you come to releases, sorry, geometry, if you come to additional attributes, pardon, compatible nodes, what you need to do is to make the nodes compatible. So we're going to say that they are pinned together. Okay? And the, what that means, if you double click the pinned, it'll bring up the definition. And what the default is, is that in the X direction and the Z direction, if one node moves, it has to drag the one it's coupled with, with it. But rotationally, they are independent. So it acts like a pin, just like a pair of scissors. So that's fine, we're comfortable with that. And the node number is node 2, and the compatible node number is node 5. Okay, so we can apply that. And now what you can see is that these two nodes are nailed together in the middle. Node 2 and node 5 are hacked together for X and Z, but it's free rotationally. So now we have our, our elements defined, we can now start to look at loads. So we could start to uh, loads, we could define a load type. So the first load type will be a dead load, so we can apply that, and that's going to be self-weight, and it's applied one to four for the whole structure. We could change that to be a nodal force. In fact, the easiest way is to just delete that whole column. And what we'll do is we will add a particular type of load. So we can come up to loads, load definition. We'll come up to here a nodal force. And we want it to be going down. So let's put um, minus 10 because it's in kilonewtons. You can see the units up there. We can add and we can apply that to that node there. So what we see is we have a nodal force at node 3 and it's going down with minus 10. Again, we can get rid of the self weight, we don't really want that, and we're done. We've finished applying our loads, so we can come to analysis, and we can start to do our calculations. There's no errors come up, which is good. And again, we can go into results mode, and we can start to look at what the results are showing us. So let's look at the bending moment. So click MY, 
hit apply and what you can see there is that there's a point load here and it's bending and down at this point it's pinned so by default there are no releases this member bends all the way through and that creates a simple pantograph structure so the key to there is to couple those two nodes together if you're doing this for your dissertation then I suggest that you compare this to a set of ANSYS results or even you could take this as a simple element, analyze it by hand and just assume that it has a pin prop here because those two are not rotationally coupled so it can't fire anything back into this other member. Good luck!